Hey, it's Dr. Ellis. I'm here to give you guys an update on COVID-19. Today is March 13th, Friday the 13th. As you may know, there are two cases of, of COVID-19 being investigated in Austin. One is a man that was transferred from an outside hospital that is at St. David's downtown in critical condition. And another one is a 30 year old woman who was self quarantining that acquired it in Houston. Um, I think that since there is no uh, community spread here in Austin, and what we mean by community spread is people who acquired it in the community and they don't know who they got it from. Um, and since there's no community spread, everybody can carry on with their normal routine. Locally, I would advise against any traveling to areas that do have confirmed community spread and advise everybody to stay home if they are sick. The elderly are disproportionately being affected by this disease. And as you know, children have minimal symptoms and there have been very few deaths um, in children, but they can still spread the disease to your family members. If your child has to stay home sick and you need to make arrangements, when there is community spread, I would advise against having grandparents babysit since they're gonna be at high risk for this disease and we wanna protect them specifically. As far as our office is concerned, right now we are taking measures to make sure all surfaces are disinfected often. Between every patient, all the surfaces in the exam rooms, including the cabinets, chairs, toys, etc., are being sprayed down with alcohol. And right now we are only seeing patients in their car if they have been exposed to anybody with a disease or traveled in the last month from any area that's level two or higher, such as Asia, Europe, Iran. Uh, and so far we haven't had any patients that meet those criteria, but we're prepared to see people in their car if need be. When we do have community spread, we are gonna implement different entrances for well and sick kids and different exam rooms for well and sick kids. For right now, we're carrying on um, as we do for flu season. And don't forget, we are right now still with high activity for influenza A in our community. And if you haven't gotten your flu vaccine yet, you should get it. We always recommend that you get it before Halloween. Say boo to the flu. So next season, make sure you're in there early to get the vaccine. As far as well visits, we ask that you do not cancel any well visits at this time since we don't have any community spread and just practice good hygiene in the office. And if you wanna wipe things down yourself, we have alcohol wipes all in the offices and you can be as careful as you want to be. We do have um, our handouts um, available on our website if you guys want to look through the uh, well visit handouts so you don't have to touch anything in the office. And we are asking that anybody who is sick and coming for a well visit, they call us first so we can triage them and make sure they haven't been to any areas that have community spread. I do think that uh, we'll fare well as far as pediatric patients because of the low disease burden in children. And uh, I think that we'll get through this, but I think we need to focus on keeping our elderly people healthy and doing as much as we can to keep all the grandparents from getting sick. If you guys have any questions about the protocol, you can visit our website and you can also look at cdc.gov or the World Health Organization's website. The American Academy of Pediatrics has also some information on healthychildren.org. Thanks for your attention and wash your hands. Well, as they say, keep calm and wash your hands.